Oh yeah, you gotta wait till the. Uh... We actually have to get into. The, I have to get into the game to actually activate my controller. That's why I can't touch anything. I'm but, like, wait, a moment where my controller is not being sporadic. We are at 4:50, and then. Yes, but there will be other opportunities. Let's see if I can find another charger, actually. Oh, wait, is that one not working? No. There's a high probability that Irving is on his way to an oil field in the marsh. Oh, five Hey, people. how you doing? Gonna lurk the way any spoilers. This is Resident Evil 5! <laughs> no spoilers for Resident Evil 5! You, uh, you, you, you had to leave during uh, an important part. You, it's, it's your control, dude! Ah! Uh, oh, no! Oh, huh, I just readied up. Hold on. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> no, wait, I can't, you doing, I can't go no. without you now. There we go. You haven't played any Resident Evils. What, dude? Wow. They, there's so many. They even have a Resident Evil manga. Like, what? And move. They have the, uh, the animated movies. Crap, this is not one I can use. I was about to say, like, look, we're not about to talk about the live action movies. We don't talk about those. No, I was talking about the good ones. <laughs> yes, the good movies. The ones where they have, like,. Chris chasing people down. Wait. Yo, that's true. I feel that, like, not having any money is dark. I appreciate the lurk, though, Dark. Dude, I do thank you for that. Um, and I'm gonna put this link in there. So I'm trying to. Yes, but there will be other opportunities. Sheva to headquarters. This is headquarters. What's your situation? There's a high probability that Irving is on his way to an oil field in the marshlands. We're rejoining Delta Team and heading there now. Understood. Wow. Oh. We've got company. They don't let have do they? Oh, okay. Um, oh, there I am. Oh, I forgot you can't aim down this part. Oh, this is annoying. It's gonna get a lot more annoying. So I don't, I don't know if we're gonna be doing um, Call of Duty tonight or tomorrow. We'll be doing Call of Duty at some point though, World War II Call of Duty. So if you guys have it, feel free to join in. Yes, yes, Las Plagas from Resident Evil 4, the better version of this game. GTA! Ah, my gun's too hot. GTA! Take out the guys! I'm shooting the I'm shooting the tires. Is that effective? Uh there's tires that aren't covered by armor, yeah. Not to mention they're on dirt bikes. They're setting us on fire! Oh uh, there we go, yeah, I shot out one of the tires. What would have made this section a lot, like, more challenging is if the second player had to drive the truck. That would have made this section more challenging than annoying. Crap! I always forget which one's me and which one's you. Yeah. And, and I don't know if that... Uh, on the left. I, uh, on the right, too. I can't aim that much. Please hit the things that are hitting us. I'm trying. <laughs> For some reason, these normal people can take Gatling fire just fine. <laughs> nah. They're not as normal as you think. I'm overheated. You think Las Plagas gives you invulnerability to bullets? Might as well have. No, it just makes you a it just makes you a living version of a zombie. My question is, hatchets shouldn't do this much damage. Apparently they do. Oh, hi. Goodbye. Yes, I am currently doing something about it. I'm also trying not to overheat. This is not going well. Is this just, <laughs> yeah, it's what I'm saying. This is just random chaos. Did we die or did they die? He couldn't hit the broadside of a barn if- I- Look! How, 
This is literally all the reach I have, so when they're all the way by the tailpipe, I can't do anything. I have a limited view here. And if anything, I'm hitting more targets than Jerry. We just what died. Because of you. I'm not taking the blame for your bad play. Sir. Sir. The game I gave us half health. It felt bad. It was like, you need a little bit more health. Sir, I am a dang marksman. I'm not missing anything. I've hit more headshots in this game than any Call of Duty I've ever played. It's doing a great job of it. Not to mention, freaking stupid overheating thing. I always hate that. That's the one level of real ability I think I hate that they put in. The trick is when they throw an axe, just try to find it. Oh, well, there we go. We are, we're good. Oh, wow. Repeated boss fight from Resident Evil 4. The better version of this game. Well, and me with pretty much no ammunition because of a certain someone. We're not gonna fight the same way that you think, pal. We do this from inside of a car. Oh, so that just that just ruins the boss fight. Yeah, this is my one of my least favorite boss fights. It's just a repeat of four, except now he has bulletproof skin and like four or five more parasites inside him. Yeah, and if he picks up a rocket to shoot him in the face. So now it looks like we just both gotta shoot him now. This is it! For the fourth time! Please just die! Thank yes. God. Problem solved. We'll never have to deal with this again. He took a nap. You are cartoonishly bulky. I'm not here just for mission. What are you talking about? Like a while back I received Chris Chris Redfield could be a Baki character. <laughs> when I saw the data file from Delta team, I knew for sure. Jill is still alive. That's what in the data file. Are you even sure it's the same person? We were partners. Sure. Like, look at that! Look at that! Man has Clerico's veins on top of Clerico's veins. <laughs> You're not going alone. His veins have veins. Yes. <laughs> Chris, wait! I don't have much time. I have to find her. I'm going with you. These are my people that are dying here. Are you sure about this? Second ago, you were ready to cut and run. I can't just turn my back and walk away. There are no more orders from here on in. It's just us. We're partners. To the end. Now let's get moving. You guys just met each other less than 12 hours ago. I would not say this is a partnership that's bonded over years. This is a partnership that's like, hey, let me buy you a cup of coffee for your first day. <laughs> this is like, hey, welcome to work type bond. And yet, <laughs> now we're on, we've jumped to, we've... all right, let's die together. <laughs> it's a big, big, a big leap in our relationship. How did I get A and you get B? 
Uh, it's to make you feel better about yourself. Really, or the fact that my aim was more better than yours.